Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Allie Clifton, joined by James Worthy, Derek Fisher, Mike Bresnahan, Chris McGee, Mike Trudell are handling the locker room postgame responsibilities. Disappointing finish for the Lakers, no doubt. There's a lot to be proud of. There's no moral victories, however, uh, with their loss here, 113-111 to the Denver Nuggets. Um, this one's tough to kind of take in, guys. I think we were all just sitting here wondering which way. It kind of felt like that the entire series, uh, to be honest. Big game. I think before we kind of do a season recap, let's talk about just this series, this game specifically first, and just your thoughts and takeaways from here in game four. Uh, you know, from where the Lakers started, uh, obviously we know 2-10 uh, percentage-wise, not really picked to even getting a play in game. So three percent. Yes. So it's been that type of year where they've had to fight earlier than 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 you usually have to fight. A lot of times when you get down to the last month or your positioning, trying to make the playoffs, trying to get in a seed, you you start. But the Lakers have it seems like it's been an uphill battle. So I give them credit for that. But you know that's not enough. Because they did arrive at a place where they started to play well after the trade. Uh, the Denver team, they've been together. They're a good team. But when you can't capitalize on the moments, and they had a moment in Denver that where they could, they had an 11-point lead. They probably could have had a chance to manipulate that. and uh, Turnovers, untimely, at the wrong time. When you need a shot or you've tied the game up, and this possession is important to you. And so the Lakers played hard. I mean, in a lot of these games, they were leading. A, a lot of these quarters, they, they outplayed Denver. But it just goes to show you that Denver is really good. And playing great quarters, playing a good game here or there is not enough to beat them. And so, you know, my hat's off to Denver because they are a marvelous team to watch. Uh, but the Lakers just couldn't capitalize on the moments that they had. And you have to. Mm -hmm. And they did. Yeah, I mean, uh, in these situations, you have to tip your cap to, to the Nuggets, you mm -hmm. know, to the better team. Um, the Lakers had their opportunities for sure. And, and I, you know, that's what they'll think about, you know, some for the rest of their lives, mm -hmm. to be honest. And, and, and the guys that are back, um, you know, they'll remember how close they were to having an opportunity to advance to the NBA Finals and, and, and what that means. But, um, yeah, you, you just you have to give Denver a lot of credit. The, the third quarter, mm. that is what championship teams do. Whether the Nuggets go on to win the championship, we'll have to wait and see. But 36 to 16 in the third mm. quarter, that's what championship teams do. And, you know, we were talking throughout the first half. We never quite felt that the Lakers were up enough, mm -hmm. even though things were going well. And, you know, the LeBron's first half is really what put the Lakers in the position to have the lead. And in that third quarter, whether it was he chose to kind of step off the gas a little bit to try to be able to finish the game out knowing he was going to play the whole game. He, he stepped off the gas just a little, but the Nuggets again just, yeah, you, you have to give them credit. Man, I, we can't sit here and nitpick on what the Lakers should have done or could have done and this guy or that guy. It's the Nuggets time right now and they deserve this opportunity to advance. Brez, if I'm not mistaken, you have told us over and over since mid-December, the Denver Nuggets have held that number one seed in the West. Yeah. It's been a while. December 20th, to be exact. I mean, this team seems like a team of destiny right now. James D. Fish, Allie, I don't feel like the Lakers lost this series. I feel like Denver won this series. I mean, this team is really consistent. Same lineup in every playoff game. They're now 12-3 and three in the playoffs so far. Lakers, this series alone, three different starting lineup changes. All right, so just Denver showing, showing the mark of a team that has been together a long time. Unlike the Lakers, who got six new players uh, right before the trade deadline. And you have to give the Nuggets a, a ton of credit. Um, they, they were able to bounce back in that third quarter, like, like you guys said. That, that's a key part of tonight. So many different pieces 
I mean, KCP, not a big scorer at all during the regular season. He, he was probably their third best player in this series. He really did some amazing things out there on offense and defense. Aaron Gordon tonight, you know, he was kind of quiet the first three games, only averaging about eight points. I haven't said, you know, before, before the game, Aaron Gordon hasn't done much. So he gets 22 tonight, you know. So they, they can just, so many different guys who can come at you. It's not, it's not a real deep bench, really only two or three guys, but a very good starting five. Yeah. And Bruce Brown off that bench. They too. only played seven guys tonight, yeah. you know. So it wasn't necessarily a depth thing, but younger guys that can play bigger minutes. But to your point, it's still a core, it's a group of guys that have been around one another for a long time, and they can capitalize and understand from those starters' minutes and positions. Yeah, they they have failed together before. Yep. Which which creates a, a connectiveness that then when now when we're under fire again this time, I know how big game is going to react because we've been through some things together. I know how to support him. He knows how to support me. The Nuggets have had that time together. The Lakers punished them in the Western Conference Finals in in 2020. A, a large number of those guys are still on the team for the Nuggets. So they've been through some things before, and they look like a team that was connected and they get to advance. Again, to make no excuses, and I agree with you, there's no point in nitpicking this game apart when it comes to what the Lakers weren't able to do. Having said that, I think numbers tell you a lot. 0-149 and when it comes to trailing a series 3-0. There's only five teams in American professional sports who ever have ever come back and accomplished that feat. Having said that, I think there's some perspective here. Whether you talk about the 36 to 16 third quarter, you talk about being down by as many as 21, cutting it to three in game one. You talk about the 15 1 run in game two by Denver. Obviously, Jamal Murray, he is who he is, but allowing him to get hot and have 30 in the first half of game three, it just kind of puts perspective on where this team started when it comes to the Lakers. And that's where I want to go next big game where you kind of touched on. To start 2 and 10, I've got the notes here. Dealing with the injuries, LeBron only played 55 games, 27 missed on the season, 13 down the stretch. Anthony Davis misses 50, or excuse me, 26 games. He only played in 56, 20 games at one point here in the season. They were in 11th place with 11 games to go. And mm. we're talking about them in the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. Where does your mind go as a player inside that Laker locker room Look, right now? They wore themselves out. You know, trying to get into the play-in game. I mean, they had to play some remarkable basketball and have that, almost have a playoff mentality at the end of the season. So, you know, my wish would, would be that, you know, like the, uh, uh, the trade deadline was like November or December. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And they got that much time to really click because you can see this team starting to click, but they don't have that, that, finish, that mm -hmm. finish cake like, like Denver has. Like, like – you know, uh, Fish said it. You know, when you fail together, man, you you know, it's like you become closer as a, as a as a bond of brothers, a band of brothers. So, you know, uh, this this is gonna you know this is this is gonna hurt. You know, this is the kind of thing that makes you realize where you are, what you need to do as a group, as a team, because again, they had chances to maybe put a dent in, in a really good team, the best team in, in maybe in the league. Uh, and they missed some opportunities, and a lot of that is because they just haven't had a chance to, to bake in the oven enough. It's not because of lack of effort. It's not because of lack of adjusting. They've made adjustments, but they just hadn't had enough time together. And that's not, a, you know, I'm not making an excuse for them, but Denver is a damn good team. I, I, they were the best team. And that's what I, that's that's what they were. Win the Western Conference for the first time, which mm -hmm. means they are going to the NBA Finals for the.